In this video, I'm going to talk to you about tips for cracking this exam. I'm going to give you five things that I feel are very important for you when you are talking about preparing for the CAT and going to trying to enter a top B school. The first thing, uh, and this is the, something that I tell all my students and anybody who cares to ask me, is that there are two ways of preparing for this exam. One is that you can prepare in a flat, mediocre manner. And the second is that you can actually prepare in such a way that you, you do inspirational work. Something that you can look back 10 years from now and say that, wow, that those six months that I prepared for the CAT were, were something I'm really proud of. And a reminder to each, anybody who wants to start preparing for an exam like this, is that you need to stay inspired and keep yourself inspired day in, day out, week in, week out, hour in, hour out. And every five minutes that you're executing your work, towards your management entrance preparation. Stay inspired. You never know what kind of outcomes you will be able to create. The inspired you is going to give much different results than the flat mediocre you. That's the first point. The second point is more preparation related. And that is uh, that people have a tendency of focusing on, on a few areas and not focusing on everything around them. In, in, the prep, in the prep process. So what people do is, uh, if, you, if you know of the CAD, the CAD is about maths, it's about English, it's about data interpretation, it's about logical reasoning. So a lot of students I come across prepare in such a way that they are overdoing the maths, underdoing the English, or vice versa, overdoing the English, underdoing the DI, or something like that. So one thing you need to do, you need to be sure of is because one mark in maths is equal to one mark in English and is equal to one, marks in, one mark in DI. The focus of preparation has to be on all the areas. The tendency, two, two tendencies you need to avoid. One is the under preparation of data and prediction and LR and logical reasoning. Because maths has portion, English has a lot of reading to do. But for data and prediction and reasoning, people feel that there is no theory. And it's actually true that no, there is no theory for those areas. And hence, it becomes underprepared by most students. So that's something you'll not allow yourself to do. And if you can, if you can uh, guard against this, your chances of cracking this exam automatically increase drastically. The third point, the third tip, is that during the prep process, while it is important to do the basics and do your uh, uh, due diligence with respect to each of the chapters and each of the question types, the most important part of the process of preparation for any aptitude exam is the actual process of test taking and analysis of tests. The tendency of not taking tests or trying to avoid tests which a lot of students have damages their chances drastically. So when you're preparing for an exam like the CAD you need at least five to six months of test taking experience and the way you should plan it is that if you're going to give CAD in December the test taking should start in around May to June so that you get to a point where by August you tell yourself that this is where I am now and for the next four months you can actually focus on on looking at, at, at developing your scores because it's, this, this exam is completely about test scores and that's the fourth, fourth tip. This exam is about, current exam is about three sections, 100 questions, 100 marks on maths. 102 marks of maths, 102 marks of English, and 96 marks of data and prediction and logical reasoning, which are then balanced out to 100 marks each by scaling them up or down. And hence, uh, if you uh, are trying to crack this exam, the, the target that you should set yourself is that you should learn how to get 60 marks in an hour in each of these sections. And the current, uh, the current structure is 3 marks per question minus 1 for a wrong answer for the raw score but for the scale score the number of errors becomes important so typically uh, if you are looking at cracking this exam and you score able to score 60 plus out of 100 in each section nobody can stop you getting a top 200 top 300 maybe a top 500 rank and if you're top 500 rank you'll be a 99.7 plus percentile and you're heading straight into the top IMs and the careers that is going to give you beyond 
So that's the fourth major tip that your focus has to be, I mean, the entire preparation should not be in a vacuum of studying theory and studying uh, chapters and studying question types and studying subjects, but it has to be in the context of how do you get your score to 60 in each section. And the longer you prepare along with your test taking and your basics, your basics and your, your uh, basic work has to be done in the context of trying to get your score to 60, not in a vacuum. That's the fourth point. And the fifth point, uh, which is again related to this, is that when you are talking about uh, trying to get your scores up to 60 in a section out of 100, uh, normally what will happen with most students is that their scores will reach 30, 40, maybe 45 on their own or with, with, with one round of preparation. And the real battle starts when you want to scale up your score from 40, 45 to 60, 70. And that's where the real challenge lies. And during that process, what you learn and how you learn becomes very critical. And what is the most important aspect, and this is the fifth tip for cracking this exam, the most important aspect is that the learning that you do for, the, for an exam of aptitude like CAD or any other aptitude exam is 90% driven by the learning that you get out of solving questions and out of individual questions. It's only 10% of the theory that's going to help you. So this is not like a conventional university exam where if you study everything, you'll, get, you'll, you'll know most things. Here it is about exposing yourself to all possible question types that can be thrown at you on a topic. I hope this has been helpful for you and I wish you all the best. Thank you.